sitting here with Annalise, who was just voted out of the Big Brother house, oh. five to one. You are juror yeah. number three now. Before we send you off to the jury house, let's go back a few weeks. Okay. When your alliance, the Six Shooters, blew up. Oh, jeez. At one point, you were like, I'm done with Six Shooters moving forward. Then you did try to get everyone reunited, but it didn't work. Mm -mm. Why do you think it didn't work? Um, I think it didn't work just because um, Mickey and Holly just really didn't trust Christy anymore. And um, I know that they didn't want to work with her anymore and they were really hurt by the things that she had said. So, um, do you blame them if that's how they felt? Um, I mean, I don't blame them for being hurt about the things that she said. There was a point in time where I too was kind of feeling iffy about Christy and thought that she was kind of like going back and forth between six shooters and other people. So I did feel a little distrust between us for a second, but then um, I think she had realized that she was kind of going a little too wild and take, took a few steps back and I was able to trust her again. And um, I think they probably should have just gave her another shot like I did and I think we could have gotten back together. Do you regret in that moment when you said, there is no six shooters moving forward, I'm done with you guys. Do you regret that? Because if you look at this past week, two members of six shooters, I know. Mickey had all the power, yeah. Holly could have had power, her name was picked for veto. Mm -hmm. You were not happy about that. No. Do you regret ever turning your back? On um, I don't really regret it because I feel like it kind of helped me a little further in the game. But I, even though we weren't all together, I still always had Mickey and Holly's back. So that's why I was really, I felt really betrayed when he did put me up because I, I literally had always had his back and I never really gave him a reason to put me up. You know, there was someone else who I thought should have been up there. Like who? Like Nick. He made a deal that excluded Mickey and Holly. I just agreed to the deal because that's what was, I thought, going to help me further my game. Um, Let's talk a little bit about Nick. You mentioned in the live show that um, you seem very fond of him. But at one point this past week, we saw you question his loyalty and his integrity. Why? I just, I guess it didn't help that I always had Christy in my ear saying things about Nick that really made me question how he was really playing this game and, you know, if he was really saying things to me and if he was saying those same things to other people who he had their backs. Um, so it didn't really help me that help that she was always in my ear telling me these things and I just had to go always question him and ask him, you know, are these true? Like, Do you feel she was in your ear because that's genuinely what she was thinking or do you feel that she was trying to just manipulate a situation? I want to say she was in my ear because that's how she really felt, but I really don't know. I, don't, I honestly don't know anything anymore, so. Um. Who, do you, who do you think, in your opinion, is playing the best game right now? I honestly thought Nick was playing the best game. He had, he literally had everyone. He was really close with everyone, made everyone feel super special, and he made them feel like they could really trust him. Um, I mean, I, I don't know if he was really going behind everyone's back and doing certain things. I don't know that, but. Let's talk about Jack, because obviously oh I can't God. confirm or Why do you say, <laughs> oh God, you had a romantic relationship in the house with him. Yes. Now that you're both out of the house, would you like to see that continue? Yeah, I would like to see it continue. Um, I. I don't know how long it will continue. I'm just kind of going with the flow. Why? Um, I just feel like I'm so young right now and... And you're how old? 22. And he's I'm how a baby. old? Uh, 29. Okay. Yeah, I mean age doesn't matter, but um, I just feel like I'm so young right now and don't really want to be tied down, but... Um, <laughs> <laughs> but um, I hear I don't you. Know, I'm just going to go with the flow and see what happens. Hopefully he still likes me, I'm not sure. But. Well, in the event you were the one evicted tonight, the house guest taped some goodbye messages. Yay. Shall we watch yes, and listen? Let's go.
Sis, if you oh, are God. seeing this, things got crazy. Mickey changed his course of action and made you his target. You've done a tremendous job and I've mad respect for you. I'm so sorry you had to go this week and I'll miss you. Sis, I love you to God. death. If there's a silver lining to this is that you finally get to be with Jack again. Uh -huh. um, tell him, hey, and that I love him too. If you're seeing this, I'm sorry. Sissy Poo, I guess this is the end of this chapter for us. You are my little sister, my BB bestie for life. I love you forever. Go get your Jack. Oh, my God. Sis, if you're watching this, I am so sorry. On a game level, we just didn't talk too much. Absolutely no hard feelings. I can't wait to see you outside of this house and have a drink. I love you. Sis. If you are seeing this, I am so sorry, and I'm sorry that Christy ever tried to blow up my game and made everyone's game harder going forward. I didn't mean to ever put a target on you by telling people who I was loyal to. You don't deserve to see this. I'm feeling so guilty, and I hope you don't see this. Sis, I am so sorry that you are seeing this message. I had promised Mickey and Holly that I would vote their way this week. Last second, obviously, they they changed their mind. I am sorry, sis. Sis, oh my god, my heart is broken right now. I had to resort to trying to blow up Nick's game because unfortunately you were someone in his army. I have nothing but love and respect for you. I will see you on the outside, my friend. Mwah. Sis, throughout this whole entire game, you have been my anchor. I feel so lucky that I was able to work alongside with you. You're the best. <laughs> I love you so much. <laughs> oh, I love him. Oh, my God. You have I a lot of him. people calling you their best friend in the house. Who was your best friend in the house? Um, Whose back would you have through thick and thin no matter what? End of the day. I would have Tommy's 100%. Me and him have stayed loyal to our people and to each other the whole time. And More so than to Christy? I think so. And if you had to choose between Tommy and Jack, if he was still in there? Tommy! Oh. Wow. <laughs> I love him. He's such an amazing person. It's crazy. Final thoughts before we um, reunite you and Jack oh and Kat God. in the jury house. Um, I'm just so thankful for this experience and it's been such a wild ride, but I wouldn't have changed it and I don't regret one thing that I've done. Annalise, sis, sis. thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. We'll see you soon.